morning, everyone. It is 6.20 a.m. on Sunday morning. First serve is at 8 a.m., so we gotta be in the courts at 7.15 for our warm-up. Uh, we woke up a little early today because we want to try to get some Dunkin' Donut breakfast, and I'm debating whether I should fast because I ate a pretty big dinner last night. You guys saw all the cream sauce from the Alfredo. It was so yummy and I ordered two appetizers for myself and I ate a bunch of bread. So I'm not trying to overload myself today. So we'll see how I feel kind of walking there if I feel hungry or if I just should fast throughout the first game. And I have not activated the poop program yet. So I still got some unloading to do. I gotta be light today because it is our power pool. And here are our sick custom fuse jerseys matching top and bottom. Special thanks to all of all the bar for hooking these up. I'm gonna sip on this and see if it helps me activate the program. <laughs> Got the hash browns and sausage, egg, and cheese muffin. We're all waiting outside for the convention center to open. Get my quadricep warm up. Walking downstairs slowly is one of the best ways to stimulate your patellar tendon in a healthy way. Today we're on court seven, so the depth perception should be a little bit more doable. It's tough to kind of look into the infinity over there when we're still received. Damn, that was a thriller. So in that one, Dylan came up to me, and he's a really good dude. I think he definitely thinks of team first. He's like, what do you think about me hitting? Because he felt like Anthony and me were the only options and a little bit of Joey. So at least with him, we could have Joey pass because our service team was struggling, and Joey's a good passer. He could pass on the three ball, be available for that. And he just allows us to run more combos, and then allows Dylan, who has a, you guys saw how explosive he is, allows him to hit over the block, just get someone more physical on the right side. So that was a really good change. And we mentally stayed in it, so really proud win for our team, and we were able to get a lot of guys in that one too. So I brought Gatorades for as many as I could to hydrate the team in case we needed to play, and of course my favorite Diet Coke. I'm craving the kanji again. Is that chicken? Yeah. Nice, I'm gonna try the chicken. Kanji part two. Here's all the swag from the DC Mini. Look at that, that looks sick. Really cool gear.
3.30 right now and the night market is not happening until 6 p.m. And stressed down, rehydrated, did all that good stuff and doing some work for about an hour, but I'm starting to get really sleepy from the tournament. And if I take a nap, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight and I need to be able to get a good night's rest to be in my optimal form tomorrow. So I'm gonna go down to the cafe and get another latte. I feel like I've been addicted to lattes, whether it's a chai latte or a cafe latte. Never really grew up drinking coffee, but I don't know what it is about the latte experience. The, the foaminess, maybe this is something that everyone else knows about except for me. So I'll probably get one, just give me a little boost so I don't nap, get back to work, and then enjoy the night market. It's actually a good excuse to walk around the hotel. This is a pretty cool classic look here. I still don't know what the difference is for a cappuccino and a macchiato and all that stuff. Oh dang, look at this. This is sick. We're having the night market at the Orioles Park. This is so cool. get it packed, gone to enjoy some chicken banh mi in the little stadium area. Look at this beautiful part. So fun, can't wait to share my thoughts later. But getting a little tired, it's about nine o'clock right now. And I think we're playing at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So even though we got a late start tomorrow, I still wanna go early to watch all my other nine man teams, friends play. And also all my teammates went to the casino and are gonna go to the after party, but I'm not really <laughs> into those things. Not that I look down on them, but I think I'm just a little bit low on energy and just want to kind of be by myself for a little bit and rest and gather my thoughts and maybe watch some of the games today, but I definitely tend to get a little bit more on the introverted side sometimes. That night market was such a cool idea. Big shout out to the Washington DC nine man committee and just putting on a great tournament so far. The convention center is great. It's super safe. We see a lot of security around um, due to the ongoing anti-Asian hate crimes that are still going on. So appreciate them thinking of our safety. And the food was not bad. You know, I'm just appreciative that they still try to put on something that is very similar to Asian culture, specifically Chinese culture. And there was a variety of food, as you saw from Spam Musubi, a chicken banh mi, to pho and Thai food and, and more stuff. So that was really cool. That was just a good place to hang out with all the other teams from all around the country. Now in terms of today, my body actually doesn't feel that sore. And I think just not playing a lot on day one, having good enough guys to go offense and defense. So even when we do split time, I'm not playing every time. And even today, even though I took a lot of swings, I think even having Lewis, who's the other outside hitter, come in for me every third point, it just saves a little bit extra energy. So I don't feel really that tired, just a little bit worked, but I definitely feel probably the freshest I've ever felt at the Nine Men Nationals going into that third day. And really proud of our team for accomplishing our goal, which was to make it to gold division during our first year. And only four of our guys have played nine men and everyone else is super fresh. And that's definitely a credit to all the guys in our team just adapting to the game and getting better with each game and, and really help trying to help solve problems that we see on our team. And we just have a very positive and mature group of guys that are willing to take feedback and work hard for each other. So I'm really blessed to have a great team for our first year. Now the real test is tomorrow when we start to play really top gold caliber teams. And our goal is to win and just see how far we can make it.